at Las Vegas Motor Speedway with Kyle Busch's crew chief, Adam Stevens. Adam, this is going to be a different animal. We were talking a little bit before this interview. Tell me what exactly is different on this race car versus the race car we had last weekend at Atlanta. Well, just from Atlanta, the only real difference is the incorporation of the drag ducts. You know, uh, last week we were allowed to have some brake cooling, and this week we're not. So uh, we're back to the drag, uh, drag ducts, and it's really taking a lot of air that would have went over the body and putting it out through the sides and making a little bit more wake on the sides. So underneath the race car, is the radiator pan the same? And, and the end goal, what do you expect to see once we get on, on track in a, in a race situation? The radiator pan is the same as last week. That doesn't change between the, uh, the packages, but uh, it's way different than last year. So the splitter itself has a radius. It's a full radius splitter, and it's a much bigger surface area, as well as the pan. And the spoiler last year was two and three eighths of an inch tall, and this year it's eight inches. So all that added up adds about 60% more downforce and about 30% more drag. So once we get on the racetrack, I mean, I'm sure it's going to be a headache for you because these cars, they're going to be grouped up together for, for a long time, more on throttle time. So what should the race fans expect to see once we get on track? It's going to be very similar to Atlanta early in the runs. Atlanta, you know, the restarts were really crazy, three, four, five wide at times. Uh, but this track's got a lot more grip, so you don't have as much tire fall off, and that's going to keep the pack closer together for longer into the runs. All right, a lot different this weekend at Atlanta. We have spoilers, aero ducts, radiator pans, you name it. This guy, he's maybe the only one of us two that can make sense of it.